Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning back into another episode. Tonight, we're going to introduce e-tuning to the channel. Uh, what this is, is tuning over the internet. So let's go ahead and roll the intro and get this party started. Hey guys, so we're going to kick this episode off here at the garage. Um, obviously, what we're doing here is internet tuning. Um, this is really set up for somebody that needs to heat cycle a, a build before it gets to the dyno. Somebody that wants to be able to check for leaks, kind of critique it before they go spend money at the tuning shop. Or maybe you can't even get to a tuner. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to utilize the wide band that's wired into a Honda Acura specifically like an OBD1 style system for like a Honda Acura. And we're going to go over, uh, in this case, Hondata. Um, if you have Neptune or Hondata, something that has an RTP board, um, if this is really gonna work well for you. If you're just using a chip socket, those are not rewritable, reprogrammable on the fly. So you're gonna need a little bit of hardware, but if you have any questions, DM me on Instagram, and we're gonna start offering this solution to you guys to have some kind of resource and avenue to be able to get these builds up and running. And in the event you're not real close by, don't worry about it. So without any further ado, I'm gonna hop in the car. Well, I gotta get my stuff together, then hop in the car, and we're gonna go see a guy that we're gonna do some street tuning for tonight. So this is a B18, um, non VTEC. It's in a 2001 Integra that I actually sold the gentleman and it is a pretty well stock car. Um, some nice parts, eBay style turbo kit. Um, so Honda being the tune of choice or the, uh, the software of choice, um, it'll go real easy. So we'll show you guys some pieces along the way. And then at the end of the video, I'll kind of go over how it'll all work. And, uh, like I said, if you got any questions, hit me up. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So guys, we're about ready to pull up at the customer's house. His name's Gavin. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is get Will connected. Uh, so this is a Will tune um, or a Will E-tune you could say, um, but we're gonna get him connected and go through some of the bases and then uh, we'll start doing some uh, idle correction. Um, and then a lot of the stuff he'll kind of set up before we start going for a drive. Uh, and then we'll do some data logs. So I'm gonna jump off of here, uh, off of here, and um, we'll see you in a few. Got your GoPro set up right there. All right, guys. So we got Will connected here. We're using Team Viewer. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up the base map with the customer specifications and then we're going to go into like doing some idling and like I said before we ever get on the highway. So we'll use the GoPro inside the car once we get running but we'll let him do his thing here in just a second and we'll set some timing. Small one okay?
guys, here's a uh, closer view. Will is reading the data log, which is what's on the bottom of the screen here, and then making some changes as we're driving down the road. So we're on the third pool now, and uh, should be home free here real soon. So we're looking sharp under here. We got an exhaust stud. He went, hitched a rod. You see him right there? I wouldn't get it, it's hot. But it looks like it, uh... Do you have a stud in the back of the manifold right here? Yeah. It looks like he threaded it out. That's good, I was trying to get it out so I could put it right. <laughs> I don't have one right here. I'm trying to, you know? Oh, shit. I got you. Definitely need to get a dump too. So the, uh, the wiring being all completely factory here yeah. probably means that your tack signal very, like very, and it's probably inside of the, uh, the cluster. All right, guys, the final step here is two step and it's building almost eight pounds of boost. So Gavin needs to do a pressure plate upgrade and then we'll be back to finish off the upper boost. Ready? Yep, whenever you want to do it. It held it a lot better than it did before. Boys and girls, even though the clutch did not hold, we are 99% tuned on this car. We actually let it cool down, as you saw, and we were able to make another pull. Um, AFR, like um, air fuel ratio, looked great. So um, he's going to order a pressure plate that we've used a lot of um, that'll definitely suit the, the purpose. And uh, it'll be back and ready to rock and roll. So if you're interested in scheduling an e-tuning session or remote tuning session, DM me on Instagram, Seth Church Vid. We'll discuss pricing along with your, your specifications so we can determine if this is something that we can truly do remotely. 99% um, of the time we can, but we just wanna be sure so that way everybody's expectations are set properly and uh, everybody's happy in the end. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps me a lot. Consider subscribing to the channel and uh, we'll catch you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.